we got some Zaryu merch live, but only for the next two weeks. Boom! Improve worldwide, baby, in all the different languages. Links down below to shop. Let's get it. My scariest encounter with a wild animal in real life. I actually have a pretty good story for this one. Do you guys know what a Gila monster is? I, that's that's a normal thing because I live in the desert, but I don't know if you guys know what that is. Them wing lizard things? A what? A Gila monster. All right, hold up. Let me show you. All right, this is a Gila monster, all right? It's like a lizard, but it's it can bite you. And its jaw, like when it bites you, like locks. So if it bites you, its jaw is completely locked. The only way to get it unlocked is by cutting its head off and then like removing it. But like it's never going to let go once it locks on. These things are freaky for real. Like these things, it's, it's venomous as fuck. Yeah, and it's very painful. Anyway, when I was growing up, we had like a little tree house, like a little tree fort out in the desert, right? Because we lived in, I, I live in the desert in Tucson. And it was like, just like a little tree. And all my friends, um, we would like play, you know, in the tree house and hang out in the tree house and everything like that, right? And f for whatever reason, there was like a golf course next to the tree house. We thought it was a good idea to collect the golf balls that would like people were, were would be golfing and then they would like miss and then there would be a ton of golf balls in the desert near us. So we made it into a game to collect golf balls, right? It was like Dragon Ball Z collecting, you know, collecting um, the, um, you know, the uh, Dragon Balls, right? We were collecting golf balls. Gila monsters eat eggs okay gila monsters eat eggs of like birds or like other other animals right gila monsters survive on eating eggs that's what they eat so the gila monster got into our golf ball collection all right we had all of our golf balls that we found in the desert all collected in our treehouse and the gila monster was biting and like trying to eat the eggs, AKA the golf balls. And I walk up unknowing, right? I walk up unknowing, I see what's happening. And I think it's a fake lizard. I think my friend like is playing a prank on me. I'm like, oh, he put like a, a little like toy lizard on the golf balls. You know, that's funny, cool. Huh, you know, what a, what a jokester, what a prankster, right? So I go up to try to grab the fake lizard because I'm going to move it because I clearly don't want him on my golf balls. So I go to grab the fake lizard and my my hand is like this far away. I'm like about to grab the tail and it it like do you guys know how like owls like move their neck, you know, like this? It like 180s its neck on me like like this looks at me like straight in the eyeballs like 180s its neck, locks on eyes, and then just like, it does one of these. It does one of these. Rah! Like that, and then just starts running after me, like chasing me down, dude. I am running the other direction as quick as I can. I am booking it away from this little lizard, man, because this thing is freaky for real. It was so scary, man. This thing runs like a dinosaur. It runs on like all fours, like pop, 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 like that, and it's like, it runs like um, like an alligator. It runs like an alligator. It doesn't run like maybe like a normal lizard. It's just like pa 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 on all fours, like going back and forth. This thing is freaky, dude. It's looking like this, so scary, dude. Anyway, I make it out. I make it out alive. All right, I was not bitten. All right, it was very scary, but that's definitely my scariest wildlife encounter. Actually, I probably have some more too, but that was that's definitely the scariest one, man. That's definitely the scariest one. That was freaky for real, man. Rattlesnake bit my boot once? Oh no, yo, bro, was that like a thick boot at least? Hopefully, man. We got Gamer Dude and Dino. Two rank ones. Warlock Druid. We didn't stun. I combusted and we just didn't stun. That's so bad.
Naj gets a beautiful sap off that. We get Warlock Wall here. Should be able to have sheep this. I alter time at like full life. Jump off. I'm sure would shrink it. Alter back up. I'm gonna jump back down immediately though. I'm gonna bandage just for a sec. Trying to AWE out Druid. Lining the Warlock. Trying to kill the pet here. I have Combust back in 10. Okay, I have Combust back now. I'm gonna Nova the pet downstairs. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The opener was a bit awkward, but the rest of the game is beautiful. It was actually kind of funny. We were going on a walk last week, and then... I saw, like, an animal out in the distance, and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks like a coyote. Oh, shit. If you got like, do you guys know what coyotes are? You guys probably do, right? This is a coyote. They can be, like, small and frail like this, or they can be more, like bigger and healthier a little scarier more like this they're not like as big as a wolf they're closer to like a fox but some of them like the, the adult ones can be you know a bit bigger a lot of them more look like this but then some of them some of them look a little bit bigger but anyway that's a coyote so i was like oh shit, that's a coyote and we were going on a walk we, we go on a walk like every day to get our dailies done and i was like Oh shit, we gotta run away from this, you know, thing. And then, as I get closer, it was really just a dog. It was someone walking their dog. And I was like, oh, never mind. It's just a dog. So we continue on on our walk for another like five, 10, 15 minutes. And then we see a coyote, like an actual coyote. And it was a, it was a huge one. It was, it was like a monstrous coyote just wandering. And I was like, I, I knew it. it! It is a coyote, man! It was freaky! Yeah. So I like had the premonition somehow that there was a coyote nearby. So uh, yeah, I was right and it turns out I was right in the end. It was an actual coyote and that was just last week. We just saw one. We just stayed like 100 yards away. Coyotes like, they're not too scary, I don't think, as long as they're not rabid. Jellyfish. Dude, I actually have a crazy jellyfish story. Man, I didn't realize I had so many traumatic experiences with, with wildlife. I actually haven't... I never realized that. But yeah, I have a crazy jellyfish story too. So, I was in Mexico when I was probably like 12 years old or 14 or something. And we are swimming out off the, uh, you know, in the beach in Mexico. Off of like the shore. And I was out, like, you know, I'm like a 14 year old boy. I... I, I I'm trying to embrace danger, you know? I'm trying to get out there. I'm trying to have some fun, you know? So we're going out, we're swimming out in Mexico. And I want to go a little bit further than like the buoy, you know? I wanted to go like a little bit further, like a little bit beyond. So we started swimming out like, you know, 20 yards, 50 yards, 100 yards, 200 yards, or something like that. And um, anyway, we get pretty out there and I started feeling a little weird. And I had goggles on and stuff, and I go under, I dip my head under the water, and I look under the water, and there are millions, not trolling, millions of jellyfish, like, under me. Oh, I got paired, I thought Nosh would stun that. Okay, this is sketchy. Nosh has no trinket, no evasion. I'm just trying to peel Nosh for the reset. Frostbolt, Nova this. I think Nosh is fine. Bandage here. We can sap Monk in like three seconds here. Door of Shadows, we sap Monk. TV she priest. That'll be a nice big sheep pie. Thing monk's dead. 
Yep. I don't think... Yeah, there's just nothing you can do to survive in a situation like that. It's almost as if there's a million jellyfish under you. What are you supposed to do to survive when there's a million jellyfish under you? Anyway, continuing the story, dude. So, I'm swimming out. And I'm getting real close to, like, where I wanted to go. I don't remember. Like, there was, like, some... There was, like, a destination for some reason where I wanted to go. And the, I, I, I started feeling a bit weird. I poked my head under the water. And there is so many jellyfish... It was, there's so many, like, what, what is that called when there's just millions of jellyfish just, like, right under the water? Like, what is that? Like, I don't even know. I was so fucking scared. I was so, a swarm. Yeah, maybe a swarm. I was so fucking scared, dude. It was crazy how scared I was. I swam so fast. Dude, the, qu the quickest you've ever seen anybody swim. Well, probably not, but... As quick as you ever saw the, a 14-year-old Zaryu swim, that's how fast I was swimming, dude. I was trying to get out of dodge. I was trying to get out of there, back to shore. Anything I could do to get back to shore, man. Swam so fast. I actually made it out um, alive. I think I did get stung. Or what, what's it called? Stung? Bit? I think stung, All right. I, I, I think I did get stung. Um, and that... I don't think that was a very pleasant experience, but it wasn't like a lot. I think I only got stung once or something. You know what's never abandoned me? World of Warcraft. I've always been able to log in WoW, trust it, play with my friends, you know? WoW has never tried to betray me or kill me. Actually, in Warlords of Draenor, WoW betrayed me. That expansion sucked. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Shannon says a group of jellyfish is called a smack. Is that is that accurate? I accidentally rolled up on a smack of jellyfish. How does she know that? She says, please use collective, please use appropriate collective nouns for groups of animals. Sorry, babe. <laughs> Sorry. 